OKRs. So you might have heard the term before. What is it? It's a framework that Google used to basically grow their company 10x. And many of the world's leading uh, tech companies also use this framework. It's simply a framework to set objectives and key results. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement it on monday.com. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so for this uh, video, we're gonna go over uh, OKRs. So if you haven't heard of OKRs, you probably will, or actually you probably have heard of them at some point in time, either in your organization or on social media or even in books. But uh, it's basically a framework that uh, was invented uh, way back in the day, and you can find more about it by reading John Doerr's book, um, Measure What Matters, where he goes into the entire history of the OKR frameworks and how they were used at Intel, uh, how they were used at Google, Facebook. It's, you know, many large successful organizations, large and small. And it's basically just setting objectives, but uh, setting them in such a way that they are key results used to measure whether or not those objectives were met, okay? This video is about a, an implementation of OKRs on monday.com. So you can see here we have the work management. Let me give you the overview. So basically we have these uh, hierarchies. So we have the annual OKRs. These would be the long-term yearly goals of the company, but Sometimes if you only have those, it's, it's hard to measure. What, what are you gonna, I mean, are you going to measure at the end of the year? Or are you randomly going to measure um, at regular at intervals? So uh, we've broken it down into uh, something more well-defined. So the annual OKRs break down into quarterly, and the quarterlies can be measured. And then the quarterlies also get broken down into monthly, which gets broken down into the epic level and the Epic's broke, broken down into user stories. So Epic and user stories are agile project management terms. Uh, I'm sure if you've worked in any kind of tech company, you, you've heard these terms, or maybe even if you worked in any kind of agile environment, non-tech, you've probably heard these terms. Okay, so let's go through an example here. So for example, increasing leads by 500%. So this company wants to increase their leads by 500% in this year, and it's broken down into quarters. So they just divided by four. And the first quarter, they won it by 125%. And you can see that when they create this, it automatically copies all of these attributes down into the quarterly OKRs. And you can also go and change these to be departmental, personal, add your custom ones, and then the priorities, and then also what it affects. So it could be a productivity, brand, strategy, revenue, expenses, operations, types. This is... Um, you can either have aspirational or committed. And aspirational is something, it's like a stretch goal where you're really setting an objective that is making you and your team and your organization stretch to achieve it. And then you might not hit it. So if, if, uh, a success could be considered as a, like a 70% or 80% uh, achievable could be, could be considered a success. Whereas a committed OKR is something that you must meet 100% or else it's a fail. And then that would be recorded uh, here. Okay. Now let's go further down. So you can see, let's just take this, uh, this first one, increase leads by 125% in Q1. So it makes it a little bit more manageable. Now it's Q1, so you can break it down further in two months. So here we have the monthly... Uh, OKRs. How, what are you going to do to increase um, leads by, oh, not revenue, sorry, leads by 125% in Q1. One idea was, let's say somebody came up with purchase high quality lead list that increases the uh, leads by 50% by the end of February 24. Okay. Or running marketing campaigns on LinkedIn and getting additional 40% leads at the end of March. 
that's uh, good. So let's go down to that net level. So we have the 40% here running marketing campaigns, uh, getting additional 40% of leads, but these can actually be broken down into monthly activities or goals and OKRs. Purchase high quality leads list here. This is also um, something that can be done, right? Let's see here. So buy 5,000 5, leads from Acme company and buy 2,000 leads from Wiley Gen company. Those will create epics. And also, again, they will have this. So it reminds everybody what is the OKR? Is it a company wide one? Uh, at this point in time, maybe it's a departmental one, so we can change it, right? Um, so maybe it's like the sales and marketing department that, that does this. And then uh, here, purchase sales navigator. So this one might also be a departmental one and then set up LinkedIn profile. So this might be a departmental one. And then you can set the owners uh, or teams that are responsible for these. Okay. Now let's go down to the epics where those reside now. And you can see they're right here in these last four. Set up LinkedIn profile. So it's optimized for the target IPCP. That was one of them. Buy 5,000 leads from Acme company. And then also, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now if we go down to the user stories, so if we go here, we can see that uh, purchase sales navigator is here. You can see that uh, it's all further broken down into epics. So it might not be as simple as uh, purchasing sales navigator. If you're a, a solopreneur or you're a small company, okay, you just whip out the credit card. Uh, but you could, you know, maybe it's just one item here, make purchase. But if you're in a large company, maybe you have to contact procurement. You have to get legal approval. You have to get InfoSec if you're going to actually integrate it with your Salesforce or other systems um, within your company. Okay, so those are represented here. And those are user stories. And you come down to the user stories and you can see InfoSec is here. And then as you can see, get legal approval was worked on. So what this does is, is it cascades or trickles on the way all the way back up to the Epic, which is here purchasing the sales navigator and you can see that it is uh, status working on which also trickles up to the monthly so it's trickled up to here to run marketing campaigns on linkedin so this is status working on as you can see and then from here this item is linked to the quarterly this one and you can see this is also working on so let's go to here the monthly this is the quarterly so we wanted to increase here so it's it's this one here the marketing campaign so this one also sets the status to working on which then also sets the status up here of increasing leads by 500 percent to working on which then in turn turns this to working on so as you can see it's very easy to see at any level what the status of the OKR is. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this gives you some ideas on how to implement your own OKR system on yourmonday.com. Uh, if you'd like to actually use this one, uh, please reach out to me on LinkedIn or any of the social media channels that uh, I'm on and I will get back to you. Okay, thank you. I hope this is helpful and hope to see you again in the future. Bye-bye.